We begin this half hour with what's called the happy ending and a fresh start on life for Gladys, the baby gorilla. She's got a new mom. We reported in March about Gladys, who was moved to the Cincinnati Zoo from Texas after her birth mother abandoned her. Terrell Brown is here with an update that'll make you smile. Good morning, Terrell. Hey, Anthony Marco, good morning to you both. We took a trip to Cincinnati back in the spring, and I had a chance to meet their newest arrival at the time, an adorable newborn baby gorilla named Gladys. And here was the challenge. Take an abandoned baby gorilla, raise her until she's ready to be placed with a new family, a new gorilla family, and hope that she's accepted. We checked back in this week and here's what we found. For the youngest gorilla at the Cincinnati Zoo, this holiday weekend has been a coming out party. Baby Gladys is doing great. She's now living with the gorillas, not with people anymore. Five month old baby Gladys got her first glimpse of the outdoors, playing and sitting in a tree with Melinzi, a 31 year old veteran mother who's adopted Gladys as her own. Well, it's really neat to see that she has settled in with Melinzi each day doing a little more. Very early on, Melinzi would try to hold her, but sometimes Gladys would get mad and maybe try to bite her, or bite her on her finger. But over time, they settled in, and certainly the sign that they're sleeping together is a great example. None of this was guaranteed when we first visited the zoo back in March. Zookeepers were hand-raising Gladys, getting her ready for life with gorillas. We're gorilla her, that's what we call it. So we'll have they call her, it what now? gorilla -fying her. A so, gorilla fine. Yeah, so we act like gorilla, like a gorilla mother would do. So she's prepared when she goes in there with them. Gladys was born at a zoo in Texas, but soon after, zookeepers immediately saw signs of trouble. What was the problem? So Gladys's mother wasn't taking care of her, so the zoo had to take care, hand raise her. She just left the baby on the floor. Gladys was flown to Cincinnati, and for months, zookeepers have looked after her 24 hours a day. Ashley Chance told us how excited she was to one day see Gladys grow to be a regular gorilla. It's going to be amazing because if it's going to end, you know, well, we want her in with those gorillas as soon as possible. And this is all about Gladys. It's all about getting her in with the gorilla mother because that's what's best for her. Zoo director Thane Maynard said watching this happen has been bittersweet. Particularly for the keepers who spent 24 7 for months with Gladys. It's hard, it's tear jerking to have to let go of her for good and say, you need to go and be with your own now. With that process fully underway, Gladys has also been introduced to other females, like her adoptive sister, Mara. Over the next weeks and months, zookeepers hope to introduce Gladys to the rest of her extended family. Gorillas take a long time to grow up, second only to humans. They take six or seven years to mature. So she has a lot to learn from Malinzi, as well as what it takes to be a gorilla and live in a group. Social animals like gorillas are amazing animals. They have very complex relationships and all that's in the process of building right now. Oh, did I mention that the Cincinnati Zoo had never done this before? This is a first and one zookeeper said seeing Gladys bond with her new mom was one of the happiest moments of his entire career in life. It really is an incredible I story. I can imagine. That's an amazing She's success story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, and I'm, what a cru cute gorilla. Really adorable. I mean, <laughs> I you got to go that. see her, isn't too. It, it, I mean, I think and when I first her. saw her and held her, I, I'm just like everybody else. How do I get one? You know, how do I get a baby <laughs> gorilla? Uh, but you realize once you hang out for a bit, now you're really staring into the eyes of what is going to be a very large, yeah. wild animal at some point. So, so that's what the zoo was teaching me there, was the process of gorillification. Uh -huh. uh, Gladys is hanging on to me, we're riding around a little bit, there's playtime, there's chill time, and all of that is getting her ready to, to be reunited with gorillas. Uh -huh. wow. and overall, how long did the process take? Uh, it was about, I believe, four or five months. Yeah. Uh, they brought her in when she was abandoned, and she still has to be bottle fed. Uh, mm -hmm. So they actually had to teach her how to grab a bottle so right. that they can feed her. So there were little things that she had to learn before they could place her in with other gorillas. I mean, just hanging on, you know, just riding around on the gorillas, that was a task at hand, too. Mm -hmm. Terrell, adorable. Yeah, adorable great. shoot. Yeah. Thank you very much for sure. that story. Sure.